When most people are reading a book or an article, the words register in their brains in perfect order, making total sense, turning into sentences, paragraphs, and full thoughts. But for some, printed words can be a little jumbled, mixed up, making it a tad confusing to know exactly what's being said. Now, innovators are working to make being dyslexic a little less hectic. One of the latest innovations in smart eyewear? Glasses for those who deal with some types of dyslexia. These specs are called Lexalens, and they were invented by Michael Curicchio, who told me the story behind the glasses from his headquarters in Paris. Hello, Michael, and welcome to our show. Hi, Mo. It's great to be here. Thank you. What inspired you to create your smart eyewear? So I wanted to make smart eyewear for health and wellness because I've been using eyewear since my childhood and now the electronics get so small that you can include it in, uh, in the eyewear. Michael and his team chose to focus on dyslexia following a scientific discovery from a university in France. Every single human being on earth, when we process the image, there is a mirror image that is generated by the brain that is the B of Bernard becoming the D of David, for example. And like most of us, we have these two images, but the brain is able to pick the right one and disable the D, the mirror image. In the case of dyslexics, they have their eyes that are too perfect. And therefore, the two B and D are of too high quality and the brain just superimposes them. One of the main hurdles was creating filter technology that was small enough to fit into a pair of glasses. How does it work? What it does, it just filters out the mirror image and the effect is instantaneous. It's much easier, you read faster with less effort. To keep the eyewear powered, there's a rechargeable battery giving you up to 20 hours of reading time, bridging the reading gap for people around the world through today's modern technology. Thank you for joining us on Innovation Nation. Thank you for having me. Bye, Mo.